Beach originally opened on the 21st of September 1861 as Beach, being renamed to Brighton Beach in 1867. The station is the only station on this line to have three platforms. The platform one wasn't used in many years. It's due to a decommissioned signal on platform one. The platform is planned to reopen at a later date. The level crossing adjacent to the station is South Road, which is not slated for removal. There's a disused signal box located at the southern end of platform 2, and there's a car park located in the middle of the station. The famous Brighton bathing boxes are located a short walk from the station. Alright, so we're, so we're going to do a walkthrough of Brighton Beach Station. So here we have the validators as usual. Um, good old mic machines. And this map, it's the same rail map, but it's faded in the sun. Um, it's really cool that it's faded in the sun. There's another entrance right there. There's another map. So, this is Brighton Beach. I came from Mill Brighton. This is where a rail roundabout crossing is. There's, they have another one of these at Hyatt. And the Brighton Bathing Boxes are a walk, just about like a five minute walk away to here. So yeah, this is where North Brighton is. You can see it right there. So let's head this way now, towards the footbridge. This is another secret entrance. Oh. Beach. It walks through this um, lovely residential park or station. It goes through this um, tree lined area or um, walk. over there where you can do some train spotting but we're not going to go there we'll set up this footbridge you can get an excellent view of the station and the beach this is a great place to take a picture. Welcome back. Um, let's head back down here. Um, there's two trains being stable here. Obviously the batteries are turned off now. Let's head back up the footbridge. Thank you. 
city fucking through the Sandringham. Um, the Medline symbol right here used to be here, but it's now phased out. It's now worn out, so. So, on the right side, you can see platform one. Now, platform one um, is an abandoned platform of the station because it's, it wasn't used for many years, and there's actually no way to access it. To, the platform was planned to reopen at a later date. Now, the reason why there's a fence um, where the station building is, um, it was built to discourage people getting on or off the rear of the train. It was due to the platform being so curved, like at Custom Junction in the UK, um, that passengers um, fell through the gap of the train. So, platform two is staffed to ensure that people get on the train safely. There's even an old signal box right there. It's good. There's a waiting room right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can see that fence it was built to discourage people heading down the rear. This is the waiting room. It's really gorgeous. There's even a there's even a toilet right there as well. as well. It's just beautiful here. You need, um, you need to visit this place. It's just beautiful. There is the South Road level crossing right there. Container ship way over there. There's a container ship. There's a container ship way over there.
don't have to wait for a train to go by, but as you get closer, it echoes a little bit. You get here, it's a bunch of steps. Then it's back here to this walkway. So we have a Sandringham service into platform two. This train will stop at Hampton and Sandringham only. year of 2018 and 2019, Brighton Beach received 447,579 passengers, which is 1,226 passengers per day. We'll reveal what the other least used stations are in Melbourne as we count down to the least used station on the whole of Melbourne's metropolitan network.